Yeah, nearly everything packed. Um, the rest uh, goes in tomorrow morning, the camera equipment and so on. Yeah, 6.30 in the morning, just on the M7, traveling towards uh, Pheasant's Nest, catching up with uh, Joachim. As it is pretty difficult to gauge the steepness um, and difficulty of a track, I thought I actually include the track classification. Some of the tracks are classified by 4-wheel drive Victoria. Whenever possible I use their classifications, but otherwise I just classified it roughly based on the criteria provided um, by the sheet you see above. So we hear Tom Grogan at the second river crossing, or the first, depends on how you want to see it. Uh, we checked both crossings now and none of them is passable. Uh, the first one, Joachim with his waders went in for three or four meters uh, and uh, was over his waist in, in the water and that wasn't even in the main body. And the second one now is uh, fairly fast flowing um, and also far too high. I mean that yeah, it would be foolish to, to try that. Um, so we're gonna have to think about plan B, I guess. That's uh, Joachim. All nicely set up. It's a bit windy today. Mark. Myself. Uh, without my good awning and my tiny awning. It's alright as long as it doesn't rain. Otherwise, uh Uh, uh, look at the river crossing again it's still it has uh, the water has recited a bit but it's still far too deep it's well, it's well above um, the waist from Joachim and uh, realistically it's still fairly fast two meters a second so the water would be pushed up well over the window and um, yeah that would be quite a risky operation, especially as you can't really wait, it's too fast, so you couldn't hook uh, the winch up on the other side, um, so we give that a miss and de do a detour now.
just coming from Old Gehi's Hut, which is actually a beautiful camp spot, uh, camp spot very nice. Um, yeah, obviously, you, depending on how the river is, maybe interested in getting in and out, but um, very nice. You've got to keep that in mind. Everybody. Good, yourself? All right. Yeah, it's just probably a bit wet up here, that's all. We're now looping around via Koryong to our first uh, camp spot, Mount Pinabahat. Check Riley's grave, the man on the snowy river. Not a bad spot to rest. You look around their view here. Along the tracks I noticed an echidna moving, so we jumped out of our trucks and had a quick look at the fella. Sunday morning, uh, Shady Creek campground after a reasonably fresh night um, at five o'clock or so or six o'clock uh, just at daylight the feet got a little bit cold but uh, was still all right didn't bother me to get up uh, I'm gonna take the fleece in but otherwise uh, a two sleeping bag solution actually worked quite well I really like my coffee in the morning and uh, the jet boil and the plunger works perfect and I had the coffee in pretty much a couple of minutes. No rain, looks like an absolute uh, gorgeous day so we're gonna head off now to Mount Pinaba, Mount Gibbo, Mount Anderson and um, yeah see where we go from there. Discovery 4 with the snorkel hydrots and AT tires. Joachim Sport Maverick on 33 inch tires, 4 inch lift, and double locked. Gibble, the nicest of all the hills. The Defender on 35-inch tires, 3-inch lift and also double locked.
Monday morning, um, leaving Poplas after a pretty cold night. Should have taken my winter sleeping bag. Um, yeah, but I mean, it was all right. I had the fleece in with me, but uh, certainly shouldn't get much colder. Um, yeah, so my first platypus yesterday in the water, um, which was nice to see. Um, uh, nice lizard and Joachim actually a tiger snake twice, which uh, basked in the sun where I had a little bath beforehand. Um, I unfortunately didn't see it. As it is mostly the case, the video doesn't really represent how uh, steep the tracks are. Limestone Creek is yeah, reasonably steep and uh, a couple of moderate small ruts and small rock steps. Nothing too crazy in the dry, in the wet uh, you certainly would need uh, very good traction. There are also a couple of small river crossings, uh, but nothing too deep when we went through there. Monday morning 10 o'clock just uh, finished Limestone Creek um, trek and decided now to head into Native Cat which I somehow had marked out uh, last year but we never drove that um, yeah giving that a go and see where that leads us Driving down towards Hell Hole. Uh, I don't think it's such a popular area here. Uh, it's pretty much a lot uncleared. But that's now actually, it wasn't that eventful, but it's actually fairly steep now. As so often, the video doesn't really show how steep it is. Uh, at uh, points, the track is really pretty damn steep and uh, fairly tight. Uh, a couple of tight switchbacks. I read in one of the forums uh, of people who got stuck there and pretty much had to winch out all the way. So it is uh, an interesting track, that's for sure, even though it looks uh, fairly tame if I look at now on video. That So super tight switchback here, um, but now we drive it down to the bottom. That was good, huh? Let's see how we climb out of that. Shitty, it's a bit early, huh? It's because it's a nice spot. I like that remote things. I don't think anyone was here for a while. This place is a good trailer. It's a good frame. Yeah. It's a bit of a bummer to get here. But that's an interesting drive. If you get something wrong there... Yeah, if you post something in the middle. Yeah.
just uh, just left Hell Holds Hell, uh, Hell Holds Hate. What a name! Um, very interesting drive down there. Super steep. Uh, yeah, quite interesting. Um, now we driving out of the other end. And where's the drive? Beautiful down there, right next to the river. Little uh, camp spot in the green. Um, had a nice lunch there. And now driving back out, but uh, that was worth the detour. Yeah, we're driving through the reasonably thick bush and out of nothing all of a sudden these plains open up and it's an absolutely stunning view. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I loved it. As it was such a beautiful spot, we decided to set up camp for the night and headed deeper into the plains to find a nice camp spot. Unfortunately, idiots everywhere. Someone must have had a party here. Left their shit. Had the biggest fire, but burned the stuff when the fire was already half extinguished, I guess. Tuesday morning, beautiful morning. Park is still snoozing. We had some deer right in the camp here. Actually, beautiful. Tuesday morning, just leaving Nunyong, uh, which is an absolute uh, spectacular place. Beautiful. Never expected that. Again, very good that we just followed some hunches and um, yeah, drove off the main beaten track really. Discovered Hell Hole, which is a pretty damn steep and uh, interesting descent. And Naniok Plains here is yeah, absolute stunner. Um, certainly ranks in the top five uh, high country camping places for me at least. Just discovered a little side track, a lake hill track, which looks actually interesting. So we're turning off, taking that track, and see where that leads us. doesn't actually look that deep but it is fairly deep and super soft um, so I had to reverse back there a bit and give it a couple of goes to get over that
Yeah, they turn to be out actually deep. Well, it's belly in here. Yeah, I mean, look, if you would have plowed for another 10 minutes, you probably would have uh, graded it. Slippery. Uh, came to a bit of a dead end here and uh, now decided to walk to the lookout and see whether it's worthwhile or not. Joachim and myself decided to walk to Mount Bindi and we're quite surprised to see a couple of Brumbies jumping in front of us and they weren't really too shy. On top we have an eagle soaring, so it was quite a nice walk actually. The Washington Winch at Nugok is the only Hilet Skyline logging system in Victoria which still retains a winch engine and the associated spars and cables. The massive logging engine and winch drums were manufactured by Washington Iron Works in Seattle, USA and imported to Australia in the 1920s. Izzard Enterprises purchased the engine in 1959 from the Forest Commission of Victoria and employed it at the head of the Little River catchment for the 1960 to 1961 logging season. Logs were hauled up from the gully using the winch engine in a high lead system while the skyline system ejected to the road was used for loading log trucks. Quite interesting. Still grease on it. Going down South Escarpment uh, track towards Bentley Plains Hut.
Moskau Villa hat. Looks like a villa. Share. Usual vandalism, unfortunately. Oh, that's a nice hut. It's a beautiful hut. So tell me, what's wrong now? What's wrong? It's, I can hold it. Come here. And the pop rivet, uh, or the rib nut, I attached my rock light to a uh, rib, is, has popped out. Oh. And that made a clanking noise when it banged against the... Uh, banged against the tire. So that's good. Nothing serious this time. No. <laughs> Um, we on Spiky John's track and the first half of it was, there was no track pretty much, pinstriping galore and uh, yeah, undergrowth up to the bonnet. Uh, now the second half is actually not too bad and uh, okay guys, lock gate, I'm gonna turning around. <laughs> Uh, we followed a little trek in here, which is a dead end, and <laughs> again, absolutely beautiful. Brumbies everywhere. Found a little hut here. Not bad, huh? Could even go in the hut. Wednesday, 7.30 in the morning, 7.41 to be precise. Just spent yeah, a beautiful afternoon, night here at uh, Murphy's Hut. Beautiful weather, super warm in the night. Um, just an absolute picturesque place. Beautiful. And uh, now we're going to discover the area around here a little bit more and see where there are any interesting uh, tracks and make our way hopefully to some kind of civilization and possibly get a shower tonight. That's our problem. Um, to the right was a lot of blackberry. No native fauna has been harmed. So we cleared the blackberry. Yeah. 
beautiful. The end of the trek was unfortunately no access to the gorge, but we found a big tree and quite a few leeches. So Joachim is committed to get down to the gorge. He's already two meters in. I got my one already off. Mark's hair is uh, slightly sucked up now. Knife. He's chopping the leg off. Okay, Mark, show it. How do you get them off? Pull them? No, just no, no, scrape them. No, don't pull them. Just scrape them off with a knife. Flat, but don't cut yourself. I'm trying not to. Good. Uh, just uh, left uh, Genos Trek, the end of Genos Trek, which uh, really was nothing, uh, just a huge tree. Uh, and unfortunately, on the map there is a gorge down there, and not just on the map, it's probably there, but there is no way to go get through there without some major um, track cleaning, and that's walking track, so we gave that a miss. Now we're heading down Demon Track, um, nothing Demon so far, it's actually very pleasant, beautiful ferns, the same lush green. Hill plane track, um, but the first part is pretty uneventful. But then it actually has a very nice uh, steep hill climb down uh, into a river and out of the um, gully back up is actually fairly steep and rutted. Um, unfortunately, again, the GoPro went uh, empty, but yeah, definitely interesting. It was good. lunch. It's quite picturesque. So Mark doing bush repairs. <laughs> More removal of the uh, <coughs> oh, <laughs> that was it hidden. Not bush repairs, just taking a stick out. The top of Mount Stewart. Green Hill Road. Uh, yeah, very picturesque drive. 
uh, over a ridge line everywhere, uh, pastures left and right, trees. Uh, must have been old cattle country. I didn't see really any remnants of uh, cattle being there at the moment or anything being there really. Very pretty. Now we're going down um, the Green Hills track towards the Bucken River and form the Bucken River. Or at least that's a plan. We'll see how deep it is and whether it's possible. Otherwise we may have to go back all the way. Back and river crossing. A beautiful, refreshing swim, nice cold water, absolutely beautiful, clean again, uh, ready for another three days or so without too much washing. Unfortunately, no camp spot here, otherwise uh, it would be awesome. Okay, another crossing. I think this time Joachim first. Joachim with the waders. Looks alright, but... <laughs> you get your swim, Joachim. <laughs> the first time in a couple of days heading towards Bakken now fairly slow having to add up um, awesome day again yeah awesome day river crossing super steep hills ruts a um, bit of mud I mean nothing nothing super extreme but for touring um, always enough to keep you awake and happy
walking down to the Wilson Caves. It's quite a bit hidden away, um, the Wilson Caves. Okay. Mark is leading the way to the left. And also a little sinkhole, kind of. As long as the rest where we were in before doesn't cave in like this. the old bridge. Beautiful. <laughs> Are you concerned, Joachim? I'm not. I'm just... Ah, that's the campground he meant, at the river here. One tree look out. <laughs> to be honest, the trees have grown. The other side, it's a snowy, uh, it's much quieter here. Yeah? Yeah, on, the, on our way to Jackson's Crossing, I'm not sure whether it really is uh, portable because the river is fairly high. Uh, keep in mind, you go through private property, so you need permission. Uh, we tried to contact Malva and Dolly, but uh, they didn't answer the phone. But we spoke with David from the local. Um, servo in bucket and he said that would be all right so yeah keep in mind private property don't just drive through it uh, seek permission and yeah interesting to see how high the water levels are there last time uh, we did it in the other direction it's a fairly long crossing
nice wheel placement. We had Jackson's crossing and just decided to give it a miss. Joachim uh, waited the whole crossing, Mark did half. And while it is probably doable, um, we don't really have to go there. And I've done it before. Uh, it's, uh, we're heading towards home slowly. Video footage never really shows the steepness of a track. This is a very steep track and in second gear low range you see the traction control working hard and uh, the tires spinning. Um, I didn't put any lockers in there so it is steep believe me. Running Creek track that is super steep, very interesting track. Super steep, uh, quite tight turns, not much space, loose rock. Um, interesting, that's for sure. I think maybe uh, now is another steep bit coming. Yeah, and pretty much, oh, yeah, we're climbing 400 meters or something, nearly vertically. I mean, not nearly vertically, but in a very short space. In the wet, absolutely treacherous. We are going down Guinea Jeep track, which is 500 k's, uh, 500 k's, 500 meters in altitude. Within, um, I don't know, looks like around uh, less than two k's, so it should be actually fairly steep. in the middle of the snowy wilderness. It's a New Guinea Jeep track, the end of it. Pretty steep descent. We were hoping there was a helipad, we were hoping we find a spot to camp there, but that wasn't nice. So supposedly there's a track going down to the river. Um, we're checking out whether we get a, whether there's any nicer camp spot because it's super overgrown before we're going to plow down here. Shoot them. New Guinea Jeep track, yeah, awesome track, but the last bit, uh, super overgrown, super steep, uh, with trees in the way, and we went halfway down, it took us now half an hour or so to climb back up, you can hardly walk it and we were only halfway down and would have to cut at least one tree on, I don't know, 35, 40 degree slope. Um, if it would rain, there is no way we're going to get out there again. So you win some, you lose some. We're turning around, making our way back out and looking for a better spot to camp, I guess. Oh, 
there's a beautiful rocky outcrop. Maybe we should do a little climb there. I think we've got to have an awesome view. Okay, this is your voice of uh, reason stepping in. Last time we did rocky outcrawling and what have you. This time of the day. Yeah, no, it wouldn't be driving, it wouldn't be actually walking. So we managed to climb, probably where we bloody shouldn't have climbed. Yep. But uh, the view is actually <laughs> stunning. Where Mark is, it's gonna go further down. steep down there and that's pretty much where we somewhere came from so we scrambled up uh, through the bushes and rock yeah probably shouldn't have done it anyway was well worth pretty much on a rocky outcrop overlooking the whole valley absolutely beautiful fortunately made it back down now and now heading out here that was a bit of an adventure, especially for someone who was afraid of heights. That was good. Here we have... Running repairs again. Thank you, Mark. S yep. Stick damage. Stick damage wedged in between the in between here. And it's a multi tool. Multi tool. Table type. Yeah, I have I had a big stick getting caught up in the actual wheel, uh, wedging in between uh, there, and then flinging upwards and ripping the ABS sensor lines out. Yep. Except Mark. Yes. Just go around the car. Uh-huh. And put the camera in from the other side. I still have another souvenir. Over this side? Right now, yeah. Oh, yeah. Around. No, your 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 lights come off. And has it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Have I lost it? Yeah. No. Or is it still dangling? It's just dangling. Uh, it's a cheap cable ties. No, no, I don't know what happened. Okay. Uh, ah, evidence. The catch can. The catch can is nearly full. Mm, also not good. Okay. So nearly seven o'clock. We're looking for a place to sleep, and we found this. Um, yeah. If we can't do that now. We pretty much got to be committed, and if there's no camping down there, we're gonna be driving that up in the dark. And Joachim has a heavy headache, so we may actually give that a miss, and maybe do that tomorrow. We find some. That is just Jurassic Park here, isn't it? We're at the Ash Saddle. Doing a quick walk, hopefully. Oh, it feels like it doesn't end, but it does. So, Mark discovered the virtues of my spirit level. And based on that, he is now leveling his stretcher. Friday morning, uh, 7 o'clock. We had very brief breakfast and now descending down Betts Creek, which is the only track we have found so far and we have driven some pretty damn steep stuff which had warning signs on 
Um, so yeah, we will see how that is going to pan out. <coughs> Goes right down to the Snowy River, descends 600 meters in around two and a half k's. Um, yeah, we'll see. Should be steep. Actually, beautiful camp spot here. So, we're trying to find our way to the it's now there's a lot of dead trees here so danger level this is reasonably interesting if you camp here but absolutely stunning place can't get in there are the New Guinea 2 caves which has, uh, contains evidence of the oldest human occupation in Victoria 21,000 years quite amazing it certainly doesn't look too stable here Beautiful swim in the Snowy River. Now heading back up, fairly steep hill, but that's got to be one of the top three river camp spots I've ever been. Remoteness and so on, uh, and steepness, I would say it's uh, on the first spot. Absolutely magnificent. Somewhere here supposedly is a Tulo Gorge, but uh, we somehow can't see a track at all. Uh, we did now a reasonable strenuous walk, but uh, rewarded with a view which is spectacular. Yeah, we're on the snowy river road. I reckon that's the most dangerous road in Australia. Uh, it's quite a few perished uh, skeletons. The view is absolutely spectacular. 
this route is definitely not for the faint-hearted, especially if you drive north to south, where you pretty much have your driver's side right next uh, to the drop-off. In many places it is not much wider than a car, and certainly not recommended if you have acrophobia. The old Truggenbuggen. Schoolhouse. Mark, you're too late to school. Didn't like that road. No? <laughs> don't like heights. I don't like heights either. It is worse in the other direction, I tell you that. Really? Because you're supposed to be on the left hand side. No, no, no. I won't do it. So kids, that's a fire, keeps them reasonably warm. Not that there no wind would be coming through here. And that's the school benches. Good collection of skulls. And jaw bones. Last day, last night, found ourselves a beautiful little campground right next to a snowy river where I will be jumping in now